Yo, Lisa! It was nice seeing you again today. 17 years now since the last time we made contact with one another, right? I'm sure seeing me come out of nowhere like that was quite the surprise for you. Nice seeing you as well, Troy. Now what do you want with me? Huh? I'm asking what my ex-husband, the man that said he should be married to a younger woman after all, before stabbing me in the back and running off with my little sister, wants from me. You were following me all afternoon, going on and on about how you had something to ask me about Rebecca. And that's why I'm responding to you now, because I have no other choice. And just a reminder, after you tell me what you wanted to say and ask, I'm going to be deleting your contact info again and don't want to see you anymore. Oh, that's right. About Rebecca. I heard that you both broke up with one another one year after you left me for her. But that was 16 years ago, so why do you want to ask about her now? That was just an excuse. Huh? I had to say something in order for you to eventually give me your number like that. <laughs> but even before that, I had to actually find out where you were living now and come out here and hang out around the area waiting to run into you. And I can't believe that even worked out for me to begin with. Sure, you're 17 years older now, and that age is really beginning to show, but you still have that same old face which made it so easy for me to recognize you. Do you have nothing better to do right now? Why the hell would you come out around my house waiting for me to come out? I wanted to show you how happy I'm living right now. Huh? Right now, I'm about to start going out with this super young and super hot girl. Oh, uh, no, I'm really not curious. Uh, just listen for two seconds. Her name is Lanny, and she's a college student. She's currently working part-time at a ramen restaurant called Rama, close to Hartford Station. What? Did you say Rama? It's a pretty famous restaurant in that part of the city, so you have to know it as well, right? Well, I do know about it, but a girl named Lonnie working at Rama? Right, just her name alone is super cute, right? I also happen to know the owner of Rama, by the way. And that Lonnie you're speaking of is still in high school. So... What? But I was told by a frequent customer to that place that the owner's daughter is a college student. He said she's available and everything right now, and that I definitely have a chance with her. And Lonnie happens to be the owner's niece. The owner's daughter left the state last year to go to some college out in Boston. She was also staying at her grandma's house while in high school, so there was no way you were seeing her while she was still around. So that has to be the high schooler you're talking about. Ah, is that right? By the way, Lonnie's dad also happens to work at that restaurant. Wait, really? And he happens to be younger than you. What? If you understand what I'm saying now, then stop thinking such depraved thoughts about a high school student and stop going out to Rama, please. She has a father who's younger than me? Thank God I was here to tell you the truth before you went and committed a crime. <sighs> Yo! What? What this time? Is there something else you're wanting to bug me about? Yesterday, I was so shocked over the things you told me that I never had the chance to talk with you about the one thing I needed to say. Is that so? Well, if you want something from me, hurry up and say it. Right now, I'm in the middle of my very important break from work, trying to relax and not think about things. Ah, so you really are working now? Yes, I'm working. I see, I see. I knew that would be the case. What the hell is this? You, you're gonna be a single old hag forever, right? What? Wait, what the hell did you just say? You think it's okay to be saying rude things like that at your age? Me being single right now, or married right now, has nothing at all to do with you, Troy. That's not totally true, though, because I know that I'm correct when I say that you don't seem to be married at all. Why would you think that? 
Because the guy who saw you the other day said that you're living in a one-bedroom condo right now that's meant for young and single adults to be living in. And you uh, assume that that's my house? Well, it has to be, right? Hey, what the hell is this all about, Troy? All of today and yesterday? You lied to me in order to start a conversation with me. And then you started to brag about how you'd be going out with a high schooler of all people. You told me all you wanted was to brag about how happy your life is right now, yet you're back speaking to me again after all that was said and done yesterday? It's been 17 whole years now since you and I got divorced, so what the hell is your goal now? Well, after that little embarrassing thing I brought up with you yesterday, I thought I'd stop right then and there and never talk to you again. But this morning I realized something. What? Lisa, about you. The fact that you're still single at the moment means that you must still have some feelings for me, right? Huh? No frickin' way would I ever hold any feelings for a man that backstabbed me like you did for the past 17 years! Are you sure about that? Then why, why are you still working like that? There are tons of women who are married and still work a job. But you're not married! You're still a single old hag! Who the hell ever said that? Which means you still have feelings for me, right? I do not, all right? <laughs> Shut the hell up, man. Hey, want to get remarried to me? Huh? You and I, we're really getting up there in age now, right? I'm sure this is all moving along way too fast for someone like you, but I've had to start thinking about what my life will be like once I've retired. And when you think about yourself being a single woman in your 70s, don't you feel hopeless and alone? How about you stop assuming that I'm single when I never said anything about whether or not I'm married right now? But you not giving me an answer right now means that you're too embarrassed to tell me the truth, right? In other words, you're still single after the last 17 years. Jesus frickin' Christ. The only reason I haven't said anything is because talking with you is a pain in the ass. Huh? A pain in the ass? What the hell is the point of explaining my life to some asshole who cheated on me with my little sister? That's why I haven't told you anything about myself. But I can see now that not telling you anything is far worse for me, as you're just going to assume now the person I am, which is even more annoying. So I'll explain things. What? To start, take a look at this picture. What is this a picture of? Why does she look like you in a gown and cap? That's a photo of me graduating from university. Huh? But aren't you and I the same age and everything? After I divorced you, I went back to university. I thought that it was time for me to study some more and make something out of my life. But at the age you were at, wasn't that a bit of a pain? Going to university after you had to get a divorce from your husband? I have the right to do whatever the hell I want after you left me for my sister. After you were gone, I had gone back to university to study. I was finally able to get the kind of job I'd been wanting. And what's even better than that, I was able to meet my current husband there. Your current husband? But you're single right now. Next is this picture. Uh, what's this? Those are wedding bands. What? And considering that these bands are much different designs than the ones you got back when we were married, you can tell that I was given mine by someone else, right? Then you're seriously married right now? Now you take a look at this picture. That is my current husband playing with our toddler. What? I didn't want you seeing what they both look like now, so that's a picture I took of them a few years ago when my daughter was a toddler. But as you can see, I have a husband now that I've been married to, and we had a daughter together. My husband also happens to understand that I enjoy working the kind of job I have right now. And both his mom and dad are very loving people that treat me like I'm a daughter of theirs rather than an object. So you're really married then? I really am. 
And for the longest time now, I've been enjoying life with them. Then why do you have a condo right now that's meant for a single person? Don't tell me you have issues with your husband now and have been taking another man there to make love to him secretly. If that's really the case, then make me that secret lover of yours instead. It's undeniable now that you've become this disgusting wreck of an old geezer now. Ah. Listen, have you not yet noticed that the condo you speak of was just an Airbnb? What? From time to time, I'm having to travel a little ways out of town for work and there is nobody in the area I can stay with. So I thought instead of getting a hotel, I'd be better off staying at an Airbnb like that one. So after talking with my company, they said I could have a room there instead of in a hotel. That's all. <gasps> so you were on a business trip? Yep, and that right there is what's happened to me these past 17 years. Now that you're aware of everything, you shouldn't need to bother me anymore, right? Uh, no, wait, but... In conclusion, you have nothing to do with my life now, and I will not include you in it. What? Bye-bye. Yo, Lisa, get out here right now! Wait, what? I just need this place while you're here for business, so let me come live in there with you! Huh? I don't have anywhere else to live right now, so please let me live in there with you! And as a thank you for doing that, I'll eat you out tonight and every night! Screw off. I already finished my business trip now and am back home with my husband and kid. Right now there's nobody in that condo. What did you say? You told me before that you were going to be around for one month, right? No, I didn't. I was only there for the week, and that ended two days ago. <gasps> Are you kidding me? By the way, Troy, before you came to the condo today looking for me, you went and made a move on that Rebecca, right? <sighs> I was just about to tell her to look out for you, but she told me that you already stopped by. You made the mistake of thinking that she was single when you went in to talk to her. You told her that you'd been kicked out by the woman you'd been living with for ten years and said you'd get back together with her as long as she took care of you, right? But then you noticed that she had a middle school son with her that she had to walk away with after you approached her, right? You know all about that, too? My sister told me she never expected you to come out where I'd be so many years later and said sorry for not saying anything to me sooner about you. <gasps> you guys... Are you guys actually talking to one another again? The two sisters that ruined my life and left me for dead have... Hearing you say that about us is not right at all. After having taken you from me 17 years ago and then being thrown out by you a year later, my sister's eyes were open to a lot of things. She actually went out to my parents' house not too long after all that happened between you two and apologized to them. I haven't been around my parents' place for some time now, so I wasn't able to meet with her then when she did that. But she continued to try and get in touch with me, wanting to apologize each and every time for what she'd done. I'm not saying that her and I are 100% okay with one another again, but we're at least to the point now where we can talk with one another again over the phone if we need to. No freaking way! And with that, this is really it. Don't you ever bother any of us ever again. Lisa, um, I, about a place for me to live. Screw you. Lisa! Goodbye forever. A few days later, I received a phone call from Troy's older brother. Apparently, his older brother is the one who owns his parents' house now, after they had both passed away years ago. Troy went and sold all of his belongings in order to get the money to afford a plane ticket and go all the way back there to live with his older brother. By the time he had made it home to see his brother and his family, he looked like he had fought a war as he began to tell his brother what all had happened. However, his older brother found the story very creepy and told Troy that he never wanted to let him into their house again. But being his older brother, he did go and ask a friend of his to help Troy out by giving him a new job. 
And so after a night of having to sleep out in the shed, Troy's brother came out and grabbed him by the neck before throwing him into a van that took him away to a new location in a dorm room. Without even knowing what had happened to him, Troy was in a new world, working a job he never even asked to do. Troy was also asked to pay his brother back close to $30,000, as that was the amount he'd paid to help Troy out with his divorce and everything 17 years before, after he had cheated on me. Now Troy's in the process of working a very tough job in order to pay that off, while also being disciplined and straightened out by a bunch of big guys he has to work alongside. As for myself, I'm back at home still with my husband and daughter, enjoying the peace and quiet again after blocking Troy's number and never hearing from him again. I'm still at a loss as to what happened over those couple of days with him, but I was never actually worried about him being able to find my family and I, because we don't even live anywhere close to that city, hence me staying in that Airbnb when I have to go on business trips. And when it comes to the relationship between my sister and I, I know it's not all that strong yet, but over time I'm sure I'll be able to see her in person again. Just give me a few more years, and by then I might even be willing to consider her a part of my family and let her see my daughter and husband. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.